Good afternoon and welcome to IFA and Panasonic's press conference here in Berlin. Herzlich willkommen. My name is Patrice Budibela and we've got a great show for you today, so let's get started. But before we start with our first speaker, let me give you a sneak preview about the final 15 minutes because we will have an excitement, uh, exciting announcement towards the end. In fact, I would even bet that it will be one of the hottest topics of the IFA this year, so stay tuned. Now let's start the first presentation. Panasonic is more diverse than you perhaps would have expected from an electronics company. As we all know, it is most famous here in Europe for its product development in the consumer electronics sector. Yet over the past 18 to 24 months, the company has been integrating and cross-pollinating its expertise in consumer electronics elsewhere across the company. Very shortly, we will be hearing examples of how Panasonic has achieved this and how it's once again leading the way in the development of innovative technologies for home and car and wider uh, settings such as a whole town. It really is interesting to see how a company steeped in a consumer heritage is able to use this expertise and transfer it to other sectors. So without further ado, let's welcome Panasonic Chairman and CEO for Europe, Laurent Abadi. Thank you, Patrice. Welcome, everyone. And uh, this is a very important issue for us, this IFA 2014. In fact, in the space of just one year, our business has strengthened and changed a lot. We are on the road of recovery. Our recent quarterly results were strong, with solid sales supporting a substantial increase in operating profit in fact, 28% compared to the same quarter last year. As for growth, we continue to build our business in key areas such as within the home and automotive sectors, as well as within technologies that support whole towns. When developing any new solution or technology for these areas, we ensure that our expertise in consumer electronics remains at the core of our business so that the end user, the consumer, is always at the front of our minds. Let me show you what we have achieved in the last year. Let's take a look at the town. Today's society faces a number of problems such as food and water shortages, aging population, and global warming. As a result, the challenges we need to overcome concern the management of energy and keeping people safe and connected. Take Fujisawa, a technology-driven town located about 50 kilometers west of Tokyo. It is a smart city, and Panasonic is working with partners to develop technologies that help to enhance residents' lifestyle. Let's watch now a short video. The Fujisawa Smart Sustainable Town project was kicked off in May 2011 to create living spaces for 1,000 households. The town is built on the site of a former Panasonic TV factory 50 kilometers west of Tokyo. Hello everyone and welcome in Fujisawa our smart, sustainable town. The first residents have just moved in a couple of weeks ago. As you can see, there are still some areas that are under construction. A town that lives and evolves like Panasonic. The heart of Fujisawa is where the community center is located. Here, residents interact with Panasonic to exchange ideas for future lifestyles. All the smart houses here will adopt Panasonic's smart energy management concept. Along with all these solar panels on the roofs, you can also see that Panasonic's storage batteries are in place to store the energy for use in the evening. Energy saving is a key consideration here in Fujisawa. In terms of safety, we have security cameras installed in the city. In addition, because Japan is a seismic sensitive region, we have also created a smart station that will serve as a shelter in case of an emergency.
High-capacity batteries and charging systems are also part of Panasonic's wide range of comprehensive business solutions. Welcome, Welcome Mr. Abadi. Combining energy management and sustainable mobility, we created smart spots where residents can use electric-assisted bicycles and e-cars. Enjoy your ride. Panasonic is evolving its business by applying extensive B2C know-how to build new solutions in different B2B markets, interlinking technologies across various business areas. You all know our company for its Viera TVs and our Lumix cameras, our audio and Blu-ray devices, and our total range of entertainment products, an important part of our European business. For Panasonic, this smart town is like a big case study. Like Fujisawa evolves with people's expectation and changing lifestyle, Panasonic does as well. You see many examples here in Fujisawa. From all the technology in this futuristic house here, with all its installations that offer green energy production and storage, safety for everyone living here. Fujisawa is a blueprint of Panasonic's ability building future living space for the home, for travel and mobility, and for entire towns. This is how Panasonic is evolving into a solution company and thanks to our consumer business expertise, knowing that the consumer ultimately expects. This is the challenge that Panasonic has taken on, creating comprehensive solutions, fitting various lifestyles for different generations and different types of people. Wow, isn't that very exciting? Another growing focus area for us concerns mobility. We already have a very healthy in-car connected entertainment business. At the same time, we are building up our growth potential through the energy and safety related sectors. In the same way, we, have, we care for residents' safety in their neighborhoods we care about their safety where on the road too. This is becoming another growth area within our automotive business. Let's find out what we are doing. Roughly one million traffic accidents happen each year in the EU and more than half a million in Japan, of which 40% occur at junctions. Ooh, that was close. Did you know that in Japan, we are already working with the local government to reduce accidents at intersections using our advanced automotive sensor technology? Let me show you how this works. Let's look at this example. As the red car approaches the intersection, its driver is not aware of the motorcycle because his view is being blocked by the yellow truck. This is now a dangerous situation. Panasonic has developed an intersection surveillance sensor located in the driver's vehicle as well as at road level, which can detect pedestrians, cars and motorcycles. The information from the sensor is transmitted between the road and the vehicle through a 700 megahertz radar, indicating the hazard to the driver. The first real-life tests in darkness or in rainy and foggy weather have been successfully concluded at Panasonic's automotive headquarters. Panasonic is also working on enabling the system to predict danger by forecasting how drivers and pedestrians will behave. We hope this solution will contribute to preventing road accidents and will support the automotive industry as well as municipalities. It is a huge step forward in making our mobility life safer. Panasonic, a better life, a better world. And finally, let's look at the home. There is a saying, the home is where the heart is. Well, Panasonic is right at the heart of the home. We are deeply committed to developing technologies for the consumer. And the home is the place for many of these innovations. Panasonic is expanding its products and technologies 
interconnecting them in a way we would never have thought possible some years ago. Let me show you. The Nordic's machine-to-machine -machine market is expected to grow by around 30% every year. Here, Panasonic cooperates with Verishore, a daughter company of Securitas, to develop smart home solutions controllable from any smart device. Welcome to my home. When we had decided for a very short smart house installation, it took just a few days and our home had become one of the smartest connected houses in Europe. Look, my family is already home. Let's go in and say hi. Very sure provides a smart home platform which combines security and energy solutions under one roof. This is the master controller that controls all the devices in our house. With this device, we can control security, safety, energy, centrally and automatically. The V-Box is the heart and brain. It functions as the hub of all communication within the system and is connected via the mobile network and broadband. At the moment you can see we are looking at the home scenario. The heating is at 23 degrees, the door lock alarm has been deactivated and the smart plug for the lighting is switched off until 8 p.m. when it starts to get dark. What's amazing is that you don't have to think about these settings anymore unless you want to change the scenario. The Panasonic Smart Heat Pump adds an energy management functionality to the very sure platform by adjusting its temperature and energy consumption flexibly and efficiently. We haven't had this system for long, but already we are seeing how it will impact our lives. Like today, it's really warm outside and the system adjusts automatically the temperature to keep it nice and cool inside. And I really believe that we will benefit from this smart home solution, also from an energy saving point of view. For safety, homeowners can check remotely whether the doors have been locked. The complete smart home solution we had installed gives me peace of mind when it comes to the safety and comfort of our home and family. To ensure nothing has been forgotten, the application allows you to shut down running electric appliances remotely. In cooperation with Verishore, Panasonic brings smart concepts to life. That brings me to the end of my talk today. I will now hand you back to Patrice. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Bye. Merci. Thank you, Mr. Abadi. Well, um, I'm impressed for a company most well known for its connected TVs and digital cameras to see Panasonic develop safety centers to make traffic situation much safer is quite impressive. And also I've been here on the stage in the past where Fujisawa was just a concept. Now it's a fully, fully functioning town where people are already living in a really sustainable way with their families. It's pretty impressive to think that within a few years we could be living in towns where we don't have to worry about dangers on the road unless I'm on it, but that's a different story. Um, and what about the connected home? I love the idea that I can set the temperature of specific rooms before I've even arrived at home or lock the door remotely if I have forgotten to after leaving in a hurry, which is also happening quite often. Sorry for that. It seems to me that the future is already here, and this is coming from the last video, which showed us how the home is evolving with uh, technology such as the smart heat pump, not only saving energy, but also saving me money, into something nicely of other areas of Panasonic's appliances. Let me introduce to you Mr. Homer, Vice President of the Appliance Company. Mr. Homer, the stage is yours. Patrice. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. Today, I'd like to present you Panasonic's vision for our consumer electronics businesses. We are not really offering, or, uh, offering appliances or audio-visual products, but rather premium lifestyles. We offer customers products and living spaces that make possible the premium lifestyles they desire, reflecting Japan's world-famous attention to det detail and craftsmanship. Panasonic's new products appeal to all five the senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. The three key phrases communicate this vision, technological innovation enriched by the merging of our appliance and audio-visual divisions, 
aspirational design that defines our vision of future lifestyles. Products that help create distinctive kitchen and living spaces that customers are proud and pleased to share with others. We will combine the innovative digital technologies of our audiovisual operations with customized technology for the needs of the region's discerning customers, deploying technological innovation that create new value. To give you an idea what we are capable of, I'd like to show you a kind of interactive mirror that integrates some highly innovative technologies. Just a mirror? Actually, this isn't a mirror at all. This is what you cannot. Our non-contact sensors detect invisible skin state, and the system provides advice about good skincare products and foods that are great for your skin. It also suggests the ideal makeup for you. This product demonstrates the merging of digital image technology for digital business, uh, image technology and translation, translation technology for vital conditions developed through Panasonic Beauty Research and Development. And it's, it's an example of how we are combining and integrating technological innovations to create new value and exciting new products. For Panasonic, the true value of technology is in its impact on the quality of people's lives. Please give this product a try at our display here at IFA this year. Panasonic is also focused on creating aspirational design. Our designers and engineers work closely to get together in creating new products. Our designers are engaged at every stage from choosing materials to, to the details of manufacturing. Panasonic design defines our vision for future lifestyles. That's why our product designers are involved in every stage of product creation. Let's now look at some examples of the results of this approach. The 4K television we are introducing at IFA this year are designed to focus attention on the image that appear on their screens, providing optimal enjoyment of the ultra high image quality they offer. Thanks to a minimalist no pedestal design that downplays the physical presence of the devices, the televisions themselves blend into seamlessly with the living spaces. This year, we are presenting built-in appliances for the kitchen of near future, as well as unique new companion wirelessly powered products. In particular, with its attractive new full flat design, our freestyle induction hub has evolved into a worktop, the energy center of the aspirational kitchen. Our approach to the kitchen and living room is about creating truly distinctive living spaces with fine quality built-in appliances and impressive 4K imaging to fill occupants with a sense of well-being. This is an environment everyone will want to share with others and the place where people will naturally gather. We will create kitchen environment with a distinctively, distinctively new level of high quality. In 2015, we will proudly introduce to the German market our kitchen, uh, uh, German market, uh, our induction hub featuring the unique genius sensor to realize the most precise temperature control and as a result, a whole new world of taste experiences. We are expanding our lineup of built-in kitchen appliances that will help create distinctive kitchen spaces in which people will be delighted to gather, can cook together. For the living room, Panasonic's next generation smart screen will add to the Miller decor, interior decor. We will offer sound system and lighting system that help create the viewing environment that can be adjusted to match the contents being enjoyed. We will create a new lineup of products focused on the experiences and the sensations of, of the users. That sh should give you an idea of our vision for future products and solutions. 
Panasonic intends to expand our consumer product sales to 15 billion euro annually by 2018. And we will continue to focus on the important market of Europe as we maintain and build on our presence in audiovisual products, we are working to more than double appliance sales here by 2018. Last year, in order to strengthen our presence in Europe, Panasonic entered into a new cooperative agreement with Gorenia. Ever since our Japanese engineers have been coming to Europe to work closely with their new European partners. Merging Japanese attention to detail with the proud tradition of European craftsmanship in joint development initiatives. Specifically, Panasonic has contributed energy-efficient inverter technology and vibration control technology, while Gorenie has created chassis design that suits the taste of European customers. I am proud to announce that this strategic alliance has produced its first product for the European market, which you will see for the first time at IFRA this year. These fine new washing machines make washing easier by focusing on the person, while detecting precisely the degree of washing power required to get clothes really clean. By sensing the volume of laundry, the type of fabric, and degree of soiling, Panasonic's Original auto care function provides optimized washing conditions every time automatically. The Panasonic Gorene partnership is surely pro to produce many more fine products that we will be proudly introducing to market. Panasonic is focused on European customers and the leadership in Europe. Now and for the future, we offer premium lifestyles to everyone across Europe. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention. See you next time. Thank you, Mr. Homer. Thank you. And uh, also, what a cool mirror. I just can um, recommend you just to see it at the booth itself. Uh, I just didn't really find my color, but um, I must say, each year I'm really astounded um, how Panasonic uses technologies in new innovative ways. And this year is not different, just how Panasonic marries its cameras, expertise with its beauty technology, know-how. It's so impressive. And the induction hub, I really like cooking, and uh, this precise temperature center for the hope is something I need in my kitchen, so I need to ask Mr. Homer. So just in case you need someone for a test household, I'm willing to be part of your project. I'd love, love to. Okay, I know. I got distracted, I'm sorry for this. Um, so let's go back to business. And the next stage of the conference, um, and personally one of my favorite parts, technology innovation continues to wow me and nothing more so than 4K. As you all know, and I'm, I'm, some of you might know, I'm an ambitious photographer and videographer myself and have uh, actually a Lumix GH4 and what can I say? I love it. And uh, let's see what Panasonic has here in store for us today. And uh, don't forget there's an exciting announcement at the end of this press conference. So. Be patient, but now let me introduce to you Mr. Yuki Kuzumi in charge of Panasonic's home entertainment business. Welcome. Thank you very much, Batteries, your kind introduction. As far as Panasonic is concerned, 4K is not just about increased resolution. Everything we do is driven by the desire to create products which empower you through unleashing your senses. In other words, although you interact with our products through your ears and eyes, our ultimate aim is to deliver experiences so rich, so engaging, so immersive, that they deliver real emotional impact. Accordingly, we aim to reach not only your eyes and ears, but also your heart. We believe that in order to create these kinds of products, it is essential to have a critical mass in terms of R&D and product development. Accordingly, Panasonic is leading the way by developing the widest portfolio of 4K products in the industry, spanning not only consumer products, such as TVs and cameras, but also prosumer and B2B 4K products too, such as 4K broadcast varicams, 4K tablets, 
and focus signage, etc. This mix is important because it allows us to cross-fertilize Foke technologies between our professional and consumer products, helping us to deliver even greater value and better experiences to our consumers. I will explain one example of this later. In the meantime, I'm delighted to announce that today our 4K portfolio is getting even larger. And to explain to you in more detail, I would like to invite Sebastian Drowert, our European Digital Imaging Product Manager, to the stage. Hello, hello everyone. Panasonic's ecosystem of 4K products continues to grow at an amazing rate. In the past, we've shown you a variety of consumer and B2B 4K products and solutions. However, I now want to introduce a brand new product that blurs the lines between professional and consumer. A device that redefines what is possible with a traditional camcorder. Here it is, the all-new X1000 4K camcorder. <laughs> Our first prosumer video camera is actually capable of recording 4K video at 60 frames per second on SD cards. The way people are creating and consuming video is changing. Today, people expect the very best image quality and functionality, whether they are filming a wedding, a documentary, or content for their YouTube channel. I think you'll agree from the video you've just seen that the X1000 is the perfect for shooting the highest quality video for 4K TV broadcasting, or even Cinema 4K for all you Tarantinos amongst us. And thanks to, the, thanks to the large BSI sensor, increased readout speed, the X1000 can also produce beautiful, smooth flowing images in 4K at either 50 or 60p. The X1000 also features a high performance Leica Dicoma lens, as well as a powerful Crystal Engine Pro 4K processor, specifically designed to handle the massive volume of data that is required for seamless 4K shooting. And of course, you also need your audio to live up to the 4K image quality, right? Well, the X1000's two-channel XLR inputs enable the use of professional high-performance microphones for recording the highest quality sound. As you can see over here, the X1000 boasts a compact and ergonomic design. With a 3.5-inch LCD monitor, electronic viewfinder, and a button layout that is designed for easy operation, whether you're fil whatever you're filming. However, despite its compact body, the X1000 also incorporates a series of professional manual rings for complete control and intuitive recording. A focus ring, a zoom ring, and an iris ring to control the aperture. You can also see an illuminated LED ring to indicate when the camera is in standby or when it is recording. So, whatever you experience behind the video camera, the X1000 is designed to take to make life as easy as possible. The X1000 is just one example of how Panasonic is paving the way in 4K imaging technology. A camcorder capable of capturing the very best video quality in 60 stunning frames per second. So now I'm going to pass you back to Mr. Kuzumi to talk about how we can enjoy some of that amazing content that we've just captured with this device. Thank you very much. Mr. Kuzumi. Thank you, Sebastian. Now I would like to turn to 4K televisions. 
Panasonic has been recognized for some years as a picture quality leader. And we have been honored to receive numerous awards for our TVs. With a new flagship 4K TV, the AX900, which will go on sale in Europe in November, we want to go even further and challenge to create the industry reference for an LED TV. Firstly, in order to allow our users to enjoy films as the director intended, we have worked together closely with our renowned Panasonic Hollywood laboratory to ensure that the colors you see on the X900 are exactly the same colors which the director intended. To achieve this, we have adopted color management technologies which have until now only been used to the same degree and professional studio monitors. For example, in the X900, we have adopted 3D lookup tables with 8,000 registry points, which allows us to calibrate color reproduction at extremely fine brightness steps, meaning that color is reproduced accurately at any brightness level. Panasonic is the first company to use this professional technology at the same level in the consumer television. We have also worked especially hard to improve dark scenes performance too. A long-standing weakness of LCD TVs so as to deliver industry-leading deep, rich blacks with incredibly fine gradation. How have we achieved this? Of course, we have done away with traditional edge lighting and instead introduced the direct LED with full array local dimming to improve black performance. However, in order to produce the reference LED TV, we have not stopped there. We have applied Panasonic's acknowledged picture quality know-how to LED TVs in entirely unique ways. For example, although local dimming brings large improvements, it also has a very noticeable side effect, such as a halo effect around the moving bright objects, as you can see here. This is caused because other companies' local dimming fields are mostly either wholly switched on or switched off. We have eliminated this halo effect by analyzing the incoming video signal not just in traditional 3x3 three three matrices, but in 5x5 five five matrices of local dimming field. And then adjusting the brightness of each individual field by fine degrees across the whole matrix, as you can see here. This results in hollow-free smooth motion of bright objects within deep, rich blacks and extremely fine gradation which retains detail even in the darkest scenes. This is only half of the story, however. To deliver the very best picture performance, it is also necessary to analyze the lighting conditions in the room in which the TV is placed. Accordingly, another industry first, the X900 explicitly links its video signal processing to ambient light levels in order to deliver picture quality, which is a perfect match for your living room. In terms of smart features, we want to give our viewers freedom to enjoy TV in their own way. And now they can. They can watch live and recorded TV streamed directly from their home, anywhere in the world, on a beach, on top of the mountain, or even for us to give them a presentation at IFA. Bringing these unique and original Panasonic technologies together, including also professional technologies never used in consumer products before, we believe that we have been able to produce our best TV ever. We want to be able to deliver amazing experiences to our viewers, and we think that the AX900 will certainly unleash your senses. To convince yourself, 
about this amazing experience, please have a look at our X900 television in our booth after this press conference. Thank you very much. Wow, what a fantastic piano performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the renowned Michiko Ogaba, famous Japanese Thank you jazz very pianist. Much. Thank you very much. I really, I really have to say, I mean, we rehearsed it a couple of times, but it still amazes me just to see you play that well. It's, it's amazing. I'm really impressed. Uh, but there's perhaps something that might be more of interest for you, not only that she has released about like 14 CDs already that they're worth just to listen over and over again. Um, Michiko Gava is not just a famous uh, jazz pianist, as I told you, she's also an audio engineer and the new leader and director of Technics Project. Please give her another warm round of applause. Thank you, Patrice. Hello everyone, I'm Michiko Ogawa. It gives me great pleasure to be able to announce to the world today the return of the much-loved Technics brand. To begin with, I would like to start with a little bit of history. Technics was born in 1965 and consistently brought a number of world firsts and advances in audio technology. The first Technics product was the Technics One speaker released in 1965. In 1970, we introduced the world's first direct drive turntable, the SP10, followed shortly later by the SE10000 amplifier with distortion levels of just 0.0%, an astonishing achievement for the time. This was followed up in 1977 by the remarkable SEA1 power amp that adopted a new technology called Class A+, which used a sliding bias design to emulate the musical quality of Class A amplifiers, thus forming the foundation for future Technics amps. In 1975, we released the world's first linear phase speaker system, the SB7000, followed by another world's first, the AFP1000, an ultra-slim large diaphragm speaker. The final Technics product was the iconic SL1200 Mark 6 turntables. By the way, I should add that then I was just a little bit younger I was part of the development team for the AFP 1000. So, why have we chosen this moment to relaunch techniques? There are a number of reasons. If we look at the audio environment, 
there have been many large changes over the past 50 years, including a large shift towards convenience over audio quality. However, thanks to faster internet downloads, we believe that the pendulum has started to swing back towards high quality, high resolution audio. This new trend was one major reason why we believe the time is right to bring back techniques and its focus on delivering superlative musical experiences. In addition to external factors, we were also keenly aware that techniques has over the years amount of audio technology and know-how. Furthermore, even while techniques took a break, we continued developing technology relating to decoding and reproducing high-resolution audio data through our award-winning Blu-ray disc players. When we added this to the technique's mission of delivering emotionally engaging sound and our new philosophy, we decided that the time was right to bring back techniques. The brand message of the new techniques is rediscover music. The first time I remember being inspired music was when I listened to Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake at the age of five. This is a perfect example of how someone can discover music, and I'm sure each and every one of you has had this kind of encounter too at some point. We all grow up repeatedly discovering new types of music which moves us somehow. However, as we get older, we become distracted by all the things going on in our lives. And sometimes we misplace the innate love of music which comes from the bottom of our hearts. I believe that being moved by music is an extremely important part of life. That's why I am a musician. There are no borders or generations in music. Through techniques, we want to offer you the opportunity to rediscover music. The new techniques products we have built and are announcing today have been designed and developed based on our three philosophies of sound, technology, and design, which together combine to allow us to offer superb musical experiences in the digital era. So, now I'd like to introduce the products themselves. Firstly, the reference class, R1 series. This model is designed to deliver superlative musical experiences. We have integrated state-of-the-art digital and analog technologies. For instance, we have employed gallium nitride MOSFET, which enables ultra-high-speed switching, while the analog technology of high-capacity linear power supply has also been adopted. And next, here is the premium class C700, which has inherited the essence of its bigger brother's technology. With this new form of network audio, 
we accept no compromises in sound quality by adopting several unique technologies that are employed in the reference class, such as our original low distortion, fully digitized amp, and flat coaxial speaker unit. We will create sophisticated sound spaces with a refined design and deliver emotionally engaging music to music lovers. Technics products will be first available in Europe by the end of this year and will then be introduced globally in other markets one after another. So, I hope you are as excited about what you have seen today as we are. If you want to learn more and hear how these babies actually sound, by all means, please visit our Technics booth this week. We believe in the unlimited power of music, and through Technics, we want to contribute to delivering an emotionally engaging sound to the world. We want to help everyone to rediscover music. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Ogawa. Technic is back. What great news for all those audio lovers out there. So please make sure you visit the audio demo room so when the fair is open. And that concludes our IFA 2014 press conference. We hope you enjoyed what we had to show you. Please use the opportunity today and tomorrow to visit the booths here at Panasonic to learn more about all these new technologies that we only had a brief time to touch upon. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on the stand later. Thank you. Vielen Dank. <laughs>